All right, probably one of my favorite ones, cornerbacks, because I think we're absolutely stacked. I think Jalen Johnson always gets shafted, always gets a little, uh, I don't know, picked on or overlooked or whatever you want to call it. But it's not right because Jalen Johnson is clearing away the stud of the NFL when it comes to the cornerback position. There's some that can hang with him. I mean, Jair Alexander can hang with him, and he's having a little bit of a bounce back here. Jair Alexander isn't playing terrible, but he's nothing compared to Jalen Johnson. He'll never... You know, he can't even hold his jock strap. So, I mean, it's not even close. But this is one that I like. Tyreek Stevenson having a little bit of a down year so far. Uh, but let's get into this. Jalen Johnson, Tyreek Stevenson, Kyler Gordon for the Bears. Uh, you can see the other players for the other teams. We're not really focused on them. This is what I graded on. Same thing as the safety groups, the tackling, coverage grade, turnovers. You just weight them a little bit differently because obviously coverage is probably the most important thing for the cornerback room. So here's how they graded out last year. The Bears had the number one cornerback room in the division. Uh, the Vikings, two. Lions, three. Packers, four. I have changed the weighting a little bit so for the overall cumulative grade, so it's not overweighted on cornerback room. Uh, but I, I've done it equally and fair, so it's not like I'm doing anything to favor the Bears. But here's where we stand this year. You can see the grades are, are down, but it's still weighted the right way. Uh, Jalen Johnson. Uh, Obviously, the stud of the NFL, 31.1 NFL pass rating. In fact, let me move that little logo up a little bit again. If I can use this thing as a pointer, too. I should be doing that more. You can see here Kyler Gordon with a really good tackling. Obviously, we know that we sent him on all the stunts and, and blitzes. But here's your uh, – I didn't put the slash zero. If there's no slash, that means they haven't allowed a touchdown. So, Jalen Johnson, two turnovers created. Tyreek Stevenson, one, but he's allowed a touchdown. You can see the Packers. The reason their grade is so low is they've allowed so many touchdowns to their cornerbacks. They expect the Bears to be picking on them quite a bit, especially with our talented uh, receiver room. This this is a point of emphasis right here. There's a, one of the most given up touchdown cornerback rooms in the league. Coverage grade a little low there on Eric Stokes, Keyson Nixon. Compare that to the Bears' coverage grades, and it looks really, I mean, it looks really down. NFL passer rating against, you see that really high on all three of these guys. Quarter, I mean, as an average, when you're averaging over 100 NFL passer rating against the team, that's that's the clear weakness they have, and you want to pick on them. So teams should be picking on their cornerbacks um, as long as they can withhold enough time on the pass rush to be able to do that. It's a good thing to, to pick on against the Packers, so... Uh, down here, Shaq Griffin having a good year. Stephen Gilmore uh, having a decent year as well. Two touchdown or two, two turnovers, no touchdowns allowed. So really good for him. Good coverage grades by these guys. You can see the high coverage grade by Jair Alexander as well. The only one close to Jalen Johnson, but has given up two touchdowns as well. So put this up here, and I'll go show you my little spreadsheet that I do. Here's the spreadsheet. Shows everything, the snaps, the targets, the tackling grade, the coverage grade, NFL pass rating against... The grade I give for turnovers to touchdowns, you can see, um, really hurts the Packers down there. A negative .67. I mean, it doesn't weight a lot because I mean, that's not the most important thing. Their coverage grade. Every once in a while, you're going to give a, a turnover away or a touchdown away, and you're going to get some turnovers. If you heavily have more turnover, you create more turnovers. Over it's, it's going to benefit you. So, anyways, there's my grading. I know it can be kind of confusing, but this is I'm consistent with all of them. Uh, but the Bears, 26.65, number one, 23.07 with the Vikings, so not far behind, but then the Lions, 17.88, and the Packers, 16.92, so clearly the Bears and Vikings have had the stronger cornerback room so far this year, uh, but I do think there's a lot of room to improve from Tyreek Stevenson, I, I think. Now, last year, his overall NFL passer rating grade was above 100, but that's because the year started out so poorly. Second half of the year where he really came on and I was really hyped about him, his overall grade was right around 50, which is one of the top 10 in the league. So I'd like to see him get back there. You can see Shaq Griffin, 49.1 um, NFL passer rating against. So that's one of the top guys in the league as well right now. His coverage grade, 58. Uh, but if Tyreek Stevenson can bring down that pass rating, which is a cumulative effect of targets, completions, touchdowns allowed, interceptions, all those things go into that. So that's why I don't double grade those things. They're kind of graded lower, um, uh, half a point each on those, half half value, I should say. So if Tyreek Stevenson can bring that down and get to where he was the second half of the year, we're absolutely going to be locked down with Kyler Gordon uh, blitzing in his tackling grade and being better this year in coverage he is better in coverage this year he's he's looking a lot better in coverage and then the depth we have to be able to have him go out of the game and then to have you know josh blackwell step in and to be able to have guys 
step in and fill in for these guys to have uh, Elijah Hicks come in at safety and be able to play so well last week. This is a good. The, the Bears secondary truly is the crucible as they're, you know, promoting themselves to be. So this is a real, real strength for the Bears. So this is one that I'm confident saying the Bears have one of the best cornerback rooms in the entire league, not just the NFC North. Clearly the best in the North so far. I think it'll stay that way through two thirds and through the entire season. This is the strength of the Bears, though. This is one of our strongest points. So. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's all looking good. That 31.1 NFL pass rating by Jalen Johnson, that's even lower than last year, which is <laughs> I didn't think it was possible to do. 33.3 last year was phenomenal, like phenomenal. Nobody ever gets that low. Shaq Griffin at 49.1 is extremely low. That is very low. Below 50 is incredible. Like, really, it is. So 33.3 last year, that was, I mean, just unheard of. To be at 31.1 this year, again so far, Jalen Johnson is a special player. We're lucky to have him on the team. So let's just hope he keeps that up, hope he keeps going, keeps clicking. Uh, he, and he has more opportunity for more turnovers too. Like he drops some interceptions that he knows he should have, and I think he'll continue to improve on that and get better. We'll see. But this is a this last one, last video, and then I'm going to combine them all together, and you guys will get that in a longer format video on my Monday or Tuesday talk, so I'll bring that out to you guys soon. But let me know what you guys thought of all of these. I'm really excited for where the Bears stand. I think they are in a good position to head into the division. But I think a lot of people are so worried about this division, and they should be. This is one of the toughest divisions. Obviously, so far, everyone with a 4-2 and two record or better, uh, who knows how the game – I recorded this late on, on Saturday night, so I don't know how the game has gone so far between the Lions and the Vikings and how the Packers did against the Texans, but – uh, every team in the NFC North is strong. So this is a this is a good division and solid players in the division. So with that, until I bring out the full video, da bears.